Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to design an e-commerce website in few minutes using Canva Website Builder. And that is, you'll be able to receive payments on orders, you'll be able to receive emails automatically when anybody makes payment on your website. And also your customers will be able to receive automatic emails whenever they make a purchase on your website. How cool is that? Now, if this is something that you're interested in, hold on, something is missing. Yeah, now that's better. <laughs> now, if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. Now, to get started, as always, fire up your Canva and then click on the website that you're trying to edit. So I'm going to click on it right now. So this is the website that I currently have on www.7figurebossacademy.com. Let's say I want to add a product page to this website. There are two ways to do this. Either you use already existing templates or you create it from scratch. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to create it from scratch first then I'm also going to show you how to do that with a template and it's pretty easy so let's go ahead and do that now so you can choose any page that you want to add anywhere you want to add a page whether you want to add it just right after the home page anywhere you want to add the product page is totally fine so let's say I want to add it here because I like the color yellow and I want it to continue with the courses all I have to do is to just come here and click on add a page now you can decide to continue with this color or you can change this color to whatever color that you want it's totally fine just use your discretion or use your color template anyone that is okay by you is totally fine now the first thing I need to do is to put a title on the page and to make sure that all the forms are in uniform all I have to do now is to just go to wherever I have a text like a title kind of this or you can still come up you can see about coach and all that so you can just copy anyone that you have already existing so that you have everything in uniform not having a different font here and a different font there it's not going to look professional right so all you have to do is to paste that here and then edit it to whatever you want so here i'm just going to title it products so you can decide to keep the color or you can decide to change the color if i if you want to change the color simply click on text and click on the color that you want so let's say we want to change it to white and then if you want to change it to capital letters still use your discretion but because i'm already using small letters on the website like this courses consulting plans and about the lead coach everything is in small letter so i'm just going to go ahead and leave it at this okay but if you want to make it capital letter all you have to do is to just click here and then you make it uppercase lowercase just like that, right? So now we have this out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is to put in our product pictures. You can do this in two ways. Either you just drag and drop the picture just like it is, or you can use frames. So let's come here and search for frames. So now you have the frames in different categories. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click see all for the frames. So now you have frames in different styles. Choose anyone that best fits what you want to use it for. So let's say you're trying to sell books, then you can choose this. You know, it has that book kind of look. So all you need to do now is to put in in your cover design and you're good to go and also let's say you're just selling products maybe clothes or stuff all right so you can select something like this here so all i need to do is to go over to my uploads and click on upload image or video now that i have my product picture uploaded assuming right all i have to do now is to drag and drop like so and we're good to go as you can see we're good to go and i need to now title it and we're good to go and then here you can do the same thing here. Let's say you have your product as well. All you need to do is just drag and drop for this one. So depending on the style that you want to use, like so, you can drag and drop your product picture like so, and you can just simply resize. By the way, this was generated by AI. I've done a video on how to generate pictures like this. So if you have not seen that video, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description. And you can also click here, of course, after watching this video to watch it, right? The next thing you need to do is to put in the price of your product. So again, you just need to copy anywhere, paste this here. So here I can just put in the price, 50 ways to make money online. So let's assume that this is the title of the book, 50 ways to make money online. And the next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate this so that we'll have all fonts together. So I'll duplicate this and put price and we're good to go. So you have this here. So you do this for other ones as well. You can choose to position it any way you want. Like so you can change the color to whatever color that you want. So I'm going to just click on this, highlight it and come to colors and choose black. So any way you want it is totally fine. So this is okay. And the next thing you're going to do is to just duplicate this right highlight the text and then click on duplicate and you have the duplicate here so you have the duplicate here and then you duplicate again 
and then it comes here automatically right so you have the same font the same text and all that so all you need to now do is to edit this one add the price and you're good to go now all that you need to do next is to go over to preview to see what you're doing if it actually looks good so you go over to preview and like i said in the previous video if you have not seen that video please do well to see the video to learn how you can design a canva website it's important that you watch that video if you have not seen it so i'm going to be putting it here as well and i'm going to be leaving it in the link so that you can watch it after watching this video click on mobile and you scroll down to see if it's okay so this is why i said you should make sure that you have everything aligned and as you can see everything is scattered here so to correct that all you need to do is to come over here and group this together so we're going to group this together and we're going to group this one together as well all you need to do is to just hold down your shift right hold down your shift while you're highlighting them and then it's as simple as that right you click on group and then you do the same thing here hold down the shift button and click on group right next thing we're going to do now is to preview this to see if it's okay now so now that it is open let's scroll down and see if it's okay so now you can see that it's okay and well aligned so this one you have to create it from scratch so if you have like more hundred products you have to create this in multiple places let me quickly show you how to do that all you need to do is to duplicate this page so now that it's duplicated you now have to now change the product picture and change the product name and pricing and everything so everything remains the same except for the pricing the name and the picture right <laughs> so and you know you can go ahead and keep duplicating it till you get the number the desired number that you want you can decide to put more than three here like so you can just do it like this right and line it up like this right yes like so and then you can also do this duplicate this so we can have this much here like so so just like that we'll have 10 products on one page so if you click on preview right now you can see how it's well aligned on your mobile phone so here you can see all the products that we selected you have 10 in one page and then this one is the one that we had you know the duplicated one right so it's always good to leave it bold like this so that it can be readable by anyone so i usually leave it at three products on one page or at most four products on one page right so but then use your discretion and do whatever you want just let your creativity run wild right so now before i show you how to make this clickable how to make this clickable and once people click on it it's going to take them to a page where they're going to make payment and they get their other shipped to them right so before i show you that let me quickly show you how to achieve the same result using already made templates and to do that all you need to do is to come over to anywhere you want to post it just come there stop there just leave it there and then come to design and here you are going to search for e-commerce website okay and you will have list of e-commerce websites and you can go through and see anyone that tickles your fancy right so you can choose anyone that you want let's see how this one looks this one has seven pages but we're not adding all seven pages okay all we need to do is to click on the one that we want and this one looks like the product page right so all we now have to do now is to click on this plus sign and you can see two options here replace current page or add as new if you use replace current page it's going to replace this product page behind and you you might not like that right you might be using the page but if you're not using the page just go ahead and click on replace this current page but if you're using the page all you need to do is to click on add as a new page and it's going to add it as a new page just that easy right so here you can just come over here and change this to products and remember like i said initially you just have to use the same font that was used on your page initially right so you use the same font so that everything will be in uniform so here we have this font so here we have this font so we're going to change this text to that font okay so we're going to change it to this font and here we have it and it's on bold and we are good to go so all we need to do right here is to just change the write-up and the product picture so let's say you want to change the picture and you have your product picture all you have to do is come over to upload and select the picture whatever picture that you want let's say this one and then slap it here like so and you're good to go this is our product picture and then you change the write-up and then you change the pricing and you're good to go and let's say you don't have the picture but it's something that is universal you can easily get it online like t-shirts so if you're selling t-shirts t-shirt is t-shirt so you can just simply come over to elements and type in t-shirt okay so let's say we want this you just drag and drop it here just like this okay 
uh, let's say we also love any other one here let's say we also sell this and all we need to do is to drag and drop and just bring this in here like so and we have our product listed already and the next thing we're going to do is to change the pricing to whatever price that you want hundred dollars and this one we leave it at 25 right just giving you an example on how to edit this so now this is perfectly fine and you can even stylize it and add like animation to it buy here or buy now okay so we can add animation here and all you need to do to do that is to just search for buy now okay buy now and see if there's any animation on that so you click on graphics and uh, let's see if we have any animation on that and of course we have one that is already animated how cool is this right it's so awesome so all you need to do is to just click on this and all you need to do is to just drag and drop and you're good to go and if there's any other one that you like that you want to use you can just use them but make sure you don't mix things up just use the same graphics for everything so that it doesn't look like a child's play right i'm just showing you what is achievable that's why i'm actually using different ones so please don't do this it wouldn't look good okay you can also choose to use the static one right the one that is static so we're going to also add this one here like so and you can change the color whatever time that you want so add this one here just reduce the size like so we're good to go with this and you can still choose to preview this to see if everything is okay just click on preview and preview if it's okay and if it's okay then you're good to go so let's not go into that you already know how to do that right 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 and now for the most important part and that is making this clickable so that customers can easily click on it and make a purchase right and to do that is super easy all you have to do is to sign up with any shop platform of your choice like equid shopify Paystack, Jumia, Conga, just sign up and list your product there and use that. I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can do that right now. So you come over to any store platform of your choice. For this tutorial, I'm just using Paystack. You can use any platform whatsoever. So come over to product and then you click on new product and come over to your Canva website and get the name of your product. Let's say, let's assume you don't know the name of your product and come here and put in the name so that you have exact thing you have on your website, right? So you get the name of your product and then you can add a short description. Again, this is where ChatGPT can come into play, okay? You can just use ChatGPT to get a description for your product and put it here, right? So, and here you can select the price and you can say 50,000 Naira here. Okay, you can just put 50,000 here. Quantity, you can do limited if it's a limited quantity of products. You can do limited and put quantity in stock. Let's say we have 50 in stock. This product contains one or more physical goods. So if it's a physical goods, you can click on this. If it's not, you can just leave it off and we'll click on next. So here is asking us for the picture of our product. All we need to do is to just click on add new media, okay? To add the picture of our product. So now I've selected the product picture like so and I'm going to hit on save. So now we have our products listed and this is all you need to do. So all we need to do now to finalize all these things is to come over here and click on copy link so all i have to do now is to come over to my website and then make this a clickable link okay so i'm going to highlight this text like so and then this icon will come out here you can see link here you just click on it and then you put the link here and click on enter and you're good to go and also i like making the picture clickable as well because customers can click anywhere you don't want to miss any customer because they clicked on somewhere and it didn't work and they feel like oh this didn't work and they will leave no you don't want that so what you need to do now is to click on this picture and put your link here like so and you're good to go so you have the picture clickable as well you can also come over to any of this by now and right click again and click on link and put your link here like so so you have the buy now is clickable the picture is clickable the text is clickable everything around the product is clickable you can also make the heading clickable but don't put the link to one product so you have to put the link to all your product that's your store okay you put the link to your store let's say i want to use my seller store for instance all i need to do is to copy the link to my seller store where people can buy my digital courses my my coaching sessions and everything and come over to products highlight it and click on link and then put the link here so now in case anybody clicks on the product it's going to take them automatically 
to my products page where they have a list of my products. So whatever is on this website is also going to be there. So they can make a purchase there, they can make a purchase here. How cool is that? Amazing, right? And then one thing you need to know is that you don't need to leave this, you know, underline like this. You can just remove the underline and it will still be clickable. So you go ahead and remove the underline and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and test our website and see if this is actually working right so first of all let's test this one if we click on it you can see it takes us directly to our store our entire store not just one product right and then if we come back here and click on anyone let's say we want to click on buy now for instance it takes us to our product page the particular product and then we click on buy now and then the person is going to put the address delivery address put the country select delivery note and you're good to go so if you click on continue now it has opened up here you can pay with your card you can pay with bank you just go to the bank and make a deposit and you're good to go or you can pay by transfer transfer works like magic you just copy the account number and transfer and you're good to go. This platform is going to now transfer the money to your own bank account. How awesome is this? Now, if you want to learn how you can design a complete website using Canva Website Builder, I recommend that you go watch this video next. But if by any chance you have seen this video, then I recommend that you go watch this playlist where I have all the Canva tutorials there. Everything you need to learn about Canva, Canva tips and tricks, how you can get Canva Pro for free, and also how you can use Canva to make money for yourself. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, go ahead and watch either of this video and thank me later. This video and thank me later. This video 